Post-purchase flow is one of the most important email marketing flows. You can use it to turn first-time buyers into repeat customers on autopilot and build strong relationships with your existing customers to turn them into fans which ultimately makes you way more money. In this video I will explain what post-purchase flow is, why you need it and how to create a high converting structure. Now if this is the first time you meet me, my name is Konrad Alvesotsky and I've been able to generate over 7 figures in sales for multiple e-commerce brands just from email marketing. I post weekly detailed videos to help e-commerce brand owners grow their business without relying on paid ads. Okay, let's start with what post-purchase flow is. So I'll just show it uh, by using an example inside Klaviyo. So many people call it post-purchase, others call it customer thank you. Personally, I prefer customer thank you because this is the flow that is being triggered after someone places an order. So we are sending it mainly for the purpose of building a relationship and this is also why you need it. So this flow probably won't be the highest revenue generating flow, but it will be the most profitable one in the long term and you won't see it directly on the front end, but building a relationship with your customers is critical. Same goes for turning them uh, like first time buyers into repeat customers, getting to buy them once again, providing them with instructions on how to use products and educating them. So you need this flow uh, it, just for the sake of you know creating actual fans that love your brand, people that are going to buy from you no matter what. And now let's get into this actual structure that I use to get the best results. Here's the exact structure I use to create a post-purchase flow that builds trust, loyalty and sells well. It also rhymed well, so let's get into it right away. Email number one is being sent immediately after an order was placed. So this is just a thank you message. I usually I make it from the founder and also as a plain text to make it way, feel way more personal and friendly. Uh, it just strictly for building the relationship and showing that you care and appreciate the purchase. Email number two is being sent one hour after email number one, which is also one hour after someone placed the order. The idea behind this email is that it's a bounce back email, which I already mentioned before. So you want to do immediate upsell and or cross sell and create urgency. So you don't want to give any discounts because if you do, people will just refund their old order and buy with the discount, which doesn't make sense because you'll be losing margins. But what you want to do is create an urgency. So you can say like, hey, we're about to ship your product. Uh, if you want to buy more, here are some of our best sellers that people are also eyeing and we make sure you buy them now. Uh, actually, like don't say exactly make sure you buy them now, but like, you know, give the call to action of like, shop now while they are still in stock because they might sell out soon, right? And so it would work well. Uh, we're getting really high open rates for this one, really good click rates and people are actually buying. So no discounts, only urgency. Email number three is being sent one day after email number two and you strictly use it to remove buyer's remorse. So people buy with emotion and justify it with logic. So we just want to remove the logic from them uh, by showing success stories, making them excited about the purchase, but generally showing that the product that they bought will change their life and that it was the best buying decision they've ever made. Email number one, or email number three works great for this. It will also lower down the amount of concert orders you get, as well as the refunds. People will be refunding less, uh, returning items less as well, because they just know that they made a good decision. Email number four is being sent two days after email three, and this is just like instructional email on how to consume the product, setting expectations. So if you're saying like supplements, electronics, whatsoever, giving people instructions on how to use some user guides, guides or how to, how to consume is always great. So this way people get the most out of the product and they also don't break it. I mean, you can break supplements, but for example, with electronics, it's ten it tends to be an issue where people will just you do some random stuff, break the product and be like, oh my God, it doesn't work. I mean, yeah, like you broke it. So how is it supposed to work, right? Uh, you also want to set some expectations. So tell them like, yeah, uh, after taking this supplement, after like two or three weeks, you will start seeing, you know, improved sleep or deeper sleep or improved uh, productivity and so on and so on. This way people know how to consume the product. So you're, you're removing this factor and then you're setting expectations when and how they should be getting the results. Uh, and like this email is strictly for, the, uh, for creating better future, let's say for the customer so that, you know, if they consume it properly and they're getting results, then chances are they'll buy from you once again, because this is what matters, like the actual benefits they get. So we're just making sure that they get the most benefits possible. Email number five is strictly educational one uh, is being sent four days after email number four, which is a week after someone placed an order. 
if you have a blog on your uh, store, it's always great to promote some relevant blog articles. If you don't have any blog articles, you can just create a simple email uh, giving people education about the problem, how the product uh, helps uh, solve it, and so on and so on. Email number six is a cross sell upsell. It's being sent four days after email number five, which is approximately, yeah, it's 11 days after someone bought, so it's almost two weeks. Uh, chances are, if your shipping is decent, which I assume it is, unless you're running a dropshipping store, but uh, if your shipping is decent, they probably have already had the product for like seven days or so, uh, so they could be using it for a week. That's why we want to cross sell or upsell them and just show some other products, some best sellers, some complementary products, just to squeeze the, uh, the ALTV out of the customer and actually give them the products that will help them even more. Email number seven is being sent five days after email number six, which is 16 days after someone placed an order. So probably, uh, assuming your shipping is like one to two days, uh, people will have the product already for two weeks, which is a decent time to ask for review or offer an incentive for UGC. Uh, as UGC, like name suggests, it's user-generated content. So if your users or customers generate the content for you, uh, you can always include like a disclosure that you know you might use it in ads, and then you can just you just have a constant inflow of new creatives for your store, which may also help with scaling and like the usual uh, UGC, you know, filmed by customer is usually the best one because they know what it's all about. They're actually talking about their problems, not briefly, but like in detail. So also other can see that, you know, uh, they had similar problems. They have, they see, feed the, the ICP and you help them. So it work, works really well. Uh, you don't have to offer incentive right away, but usually it's good to do it because then you have, uh, first of all, you have UDC and then person is also buying from which increases LTV, even though they're buying at sale discounted price, like 10 or even 20%. Uh, you know, you're taking slightly less uh, net profit margin from this order, but you're getting insane uh, UGC plus you're still making profit because uh, you don't you are not paying uh, any like uh, You're not paying anything to acquire these customers. You're just squeezing uh, more LTV and email number eight is the last one It's being sent six days after email number seven and this is just uh, uh, refer a friend introduce referral system So I include it as the last one because usually this is where people would recommend it to someone right like 20 20 30 day I think it is so three weeks in uh, chances are if they like the product they will recommend it to someone if you don't have a referral system that's okay you don't have to do it if you still want to send this eighth email you can just have another uh, you know blog article or something that will actually help your customers but yeah that's the overall structure you might think that it's quite long but I love to build longer uh, post purchase flow because it works really well in the long term and, bu and builds insane uh, relationship with the customers so definitely do that if you don't want to do a, a demons right away just start with five i would say those five are key ones uh they're not like really hard to create but start with those five ones and i'm sure you're gonna do well as you can see post purchase flow is absolutely vital for your e-commerce business but now you know how to create it so set it up and you will easily increase your aov ltv and turn existing customers into loyal fans also email marketing if it's done properly can add anywhere between 30 to 50 percent more revenue if you want to have a proven and profitable email marketing strategy that generates predictable revenue consistently there is a link in the video description you can use it to book a call with me and let's have a chat that's it for this video thanks for watching if you enjoyed it make sure you like and subscribe if you want to learn how to create other high converting flows like welcome series or abandon checkout, here's my playlist where I cover each flow step by step. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!